today back at Sporting picking up my GT4. Yesterday we did the first modifications to it and today I'm going to talk to her a bit about what we've done, what I want to do and how I want to create my dream, my perfect imagination of a GT4, of how it should be. Of course from the Porsche factory the car is incredible but I do see room for improvement. Obviously all these things are individual, some people just like cars totally stock i like doing a few changes i like making it very personal to me setting up the car just how i imagine it for example the suspension which we did yesterday sportec did their fast road setup i'm not going to tell you the exact like numbers of everything we added some camber because it's kind of their secret recipe for suspension setup and it has dramatically changed the car the car already of course is you know a sharp track focused car but now with Sportex fast road suspension setup it's 13 millimeters lower and as I said added some camber and changed some other things tweaked um, the suspension and it's just razor sharp it's just for me almost day and night from stock setup to Sportex fast road setup it really feels so much more special now it's more responsive um, instant feedback when you're turning the wheel i'm loving it way more than my previous one and i honestly tell you this feels like a whole another car to my old white one it's just so much more exciting to drive with the pdk it's faster i'm interacting more with the car often you say you take a manual gearbox because you want to interact more with the car well i'm interacting more with the car with the pdk and don't get me wrong, I'm a huge manual gearbox fan. In, normally, I would go for a manual gearbox, but it depends on the car. Just saying, oh, I, I like manual, doesn't mean you should have a manual gearbox in every car. It depends on the car and the platform and, and how much power it's putting out. And the PDK just suits this perfect. It just brings it to life. I know when I sold my white one, I did complain about a few things. I complained about the sound, I complained about power and the lack of it. I complained that it just kind of felt a bit sluggish and that is true. So I know for some people it was a bit of a surprise when I bought another one, but it just feels so much different. It feels like how I always wished it would feel. It is louder. I read on many forms that the late 2021 models of the GT4 are louder and I wasn't sure myself, but I've owned the the old one for eight months and now i have this one and i can tell you this is 100 percent louder than my old gt4 it sounds more hollow it sounds like they've just removed a lot of stuff in the exhaust and you can hear the car so much more clearly and i started to question was there something wrong with my old white one because it it feels so much different this one it, it's just so much more alive it's i, I put my foot not down but I'm accelerating a bit and it feels instant very happy to say I'm finally happy with my GT4 and building what I see as the world's maybe a bit overconfident but I want to make the world's best looking GT4 obviously it's not going to be an RS I know that but for a GT4 I'm hopefully going to make visually the best one so as I said 13 millimeters lower not too low it's not ridiculous so at the moment i've tested it in the city for example and i haven't scraped over any speed bumps uh, i had to go very slow because the gt4 does have a very big front lip the rs nv wing risers these are as far as i know three inches bigger than the original absolute game changer it was the first thing that i put on this car lifting the wing up a bit not too much it's just how for me it should have been from factory the exhaust flap control so not that you can see anything but now i can keep the exhaust flaps always open highly recommended a couple of things if you own actually any sports car not just a porsche suspension setup and exhaust flap control these things just change a car dramatically for the better and well up till now the two best uh, modifications that i've ever done on a car a bit of a porsche theme here today sportex seem to be doing pretty much <laughs> mostly porsches these days i'm going to film this at some point apparently as well this is something quite special very loud 
very fast and there should be a video coming at some point with that. Before we go out for a drive, I need to take the GT4 up into a garage to give it a bit of a clean because, and if you relate to this, you will understand, I am a huge allergy sufferer going from animals to pollen, obviously mostly pollen. I get it so bad in the summer, some worse than others. This year for me so far has been horrific. I've had the worst hay fever, allergies, breathe with the breathing, with the eyes. It's been a nightmare and at the moment it's been windy. Uh, it didn't rain for a long time. So look, this is why I'm going to clean the inside of my car. This is the amount of pollen floating around at the moment. I'm talking about the pollen problem. <laughs> it's bad. It, my, my inside car is covered and I'm just sneezing the whole time. quick polish on the GT4 inside and outside. I've actually got plenty of products. Actually, you can see here, look at that pollen. Holy moly. Some of you know, I do have actually a car care sponsor. Guys from Sweden, super nice guys, really cool products. They've been a sponsor of my channel for, actually I think about a year now. I'm actually really enjoying at the moment, kind of cleaning, polishing, detail, or trying to detail my own car i'm getting into it oh i did my first uh small machine polish last week on the wing and yeah it was actually quite fine it was quite relaxing as well so i'm going to do or we'll try to do more cleaning myself well i'm, o I'm only going to do cleaning myself this year i'm not gonna uh have any of my detailing friends do it although i have lots of offers i'm gonna do everything myself this should be a nice towel can't get it out look at that yellow obviously being from sweden is it an original rsr replica oh, it's a, a built, one. built rsr yeah. okay it looks pretty badass speaking of camber that is some very nice camber right there <laughs> First time filming in my new GT4. Very nice feeling. As I said, so happy with the modifications Sportech have done so far. Just the little details have made such a difference. And do you know what I'm doing mostly in this car with the PDK? I'm actually changing gear with my right hand down here on the lever and that's one thing and I don't say this often that I feel the Porsche didn't do right in the new 992 GT3 and that is I just don't like the lever so when you have a PDK 992 GT3 they've made the lever look like a manual this one before the 992 is for me the best I'm just constantly using my hand on here. It's so satisfying. Can only go up to 5,000 RPM. Also, I forgot to mention, we've changed the air filters. There's some um, sports air filters now. And the air filters literally sit right behind you here, they, each side. So you get all the sound coming in. road suspension setup <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous on the corners I can tell you it's mad and I'm currently having some custom seat cushions made for this which is just going to finish this off making it in my eyes the greatest GT4 ever. We're sorry it was quite a lot of talking again, more talking than driving at the moment on my videos. 
I'm just honestly waiting for the mountain passes to open. Uh, as soon as they open, I'm gonna be back on it, making way more videos, uh, way more driving videos, less talking. So I hope you guys can be a bit uh, patient for the passes to open, which they will start, or they should start opening by the end of next month. Thanks so much for watching and ciao.